hey, um, I wanted to do a quick video just to show you um, about turning in things on this new Blackboard Ultra interface. So let's check it out. Um, okay, so here we are in the class. Um, obviously with quizzes, they're the easiest thing. You just go find the quiz you're working on and then view assessment. So like with everything with Blackboard, you have to click, you know, 20,000 places and it shows you the question and so here um, in order to get extra credit for going to the writing center you must go at least one day in before the assignment turn in your writing center center draft with your final essay or cover letter or whatever the assignment is it must be stamped that i'll need to fix and change because obviously we're not going to face to face um, writing center all the time or as much or at all depending on the semester you're in. So um, any documentation, like a lot of times they'll send you a link to the video walkthrough where they explain, you know, they read through your essay and give you pointers there. So you can just send me a copy of that link or the email they send back to you if you just opted for the email thing. Um, if it's asynchronous, just ask them what should I give my teacher to show where I was here. Um, so I don't know, like, I mean, a selfie of you or the writing center. Just ask them, let them know. Um, so you need to include your documentation. Um, must use the advice given at least with grammar unless you have some compelling reason not to. Stylistic advice, remember you're in the class, I've explained things to you, they're not all taking my class, so if I say you can use you and it's a formal document, then the teacher, okay, right. But um, you know, you need to make use of it because otherwise you just went and spent your time and, and the point is you get credit for doing the work. So here we go. With this one, it's a select all that apply. And there we go. We're good to go. Now, here, notice that it's a syllabus at the first. So I always put whatever reading it is there so you can have them all open and um, read that. Because the point is, is I would rather you, um, you know, think of these as like guided notes, right? But this isn't about can you memorize it, but it's like, okay, look, you read that, you needed all the words to get the context. Um, can you, you know, um, if you need to look something up, look something up. Otherwise, boom, 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 you'll answer it. So you read the words to get the context, and that's me kind of saying don't forget that. And then, of course, with things like the syllabus, I'm saying, look, this stuff's important. Remember this. Um, keep it in mind if you don't know it off the top of your head right after reading the syllabus, go look it up. And, of course, later in the semester, it's not going to show up on a quiz again. If you need to know, you'll already have looked it up. Um, so that's it. You go through answer, answer, answer. And then, of course, you're going to um, submit, and um, it may be you didn't submit any of the other answers. Um, it does show your grade, and then you can look at your grade. Come on, should be able to look at, oh, attempt one, there we go. So again, click, 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 8,000 places. It will show you, however, how many points you go through once you take a quiz and look at, okay, look, I got that one right, and then where you got things wrong, it'll show you you didn't get the points for this. And I always do if it's, if it's um, select all that apply, like there it was all of them, but if it's not all of them, it'll show you, you know, which ones you got, that kind of thing. So. Um, when I have it set up, it won't show you what the correct answer is. It will just show you points. So you can look, and that way you can go back and um, do it again. Because, again, it's about get up and think. With the assignments, so essay assignments, format assignments, anything you're uploading, um, it's easy peasy. You're just going to go in and, um, you know, click on the assignment view assessment, it'll open it up, it tells you how many attempts you have, always give you at least two if not three, just so that um, if something happens, your internet drops out, something like that, you can go in. This gives you the make sure you read through this so you're doing it right, whether you should attach it or type it, um, if things are just supposed to be typed in and you attach them, I'm not going through and opening everybody's attachment. Um, but you need to attach in the right form, so you need to attach in Doc or DocX for almost everything. If you're working in Apple, 
or Google Docs, there's links to guide you through that. You want to make sure for most things you're going to be turning in your Grammarly report. And of course, if you went to the Writing Center, you're turning in the documentation for that. Um, so read through that and make sure you're doing turning in things in the correct format, and then you get a box. And obviously, if you're told to type in your response, boom, 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 you can type it in. You can type it up in Word and paste it in over here. That's what I would do because it's just, you know, you can spell check, that kind of thing, easier. Um, if you're um, attaching, then that's pretty straightforward and easy. Um, if you're attaching and you can attach more than one thing, so if you've got your essay and you've got, ooh, chocolate cupcakes, um, you've got um, writing center documentation that you went, or your Grammarly report there, then from the same file folder you can attach if, um, you know, you go in there and, and um, you're like, oh, I put this other one over here, you can attach there. Um, so you can go back again, so or if you forgot something, whatever it is. Um, but you should be able to see everything you attach listed in here. If you have, um, if you're attaching, like here, you're attaching, if there's anything you need me to know, you can type that in there so that shows up. And then you're just going to click on Submit. Oh. After you submit this, boom. And then once you submit, it will show you one submitted. You want to take a look at it, make sure it's there. It will show you, and again, you can click on Attempt. So um, it will show you what you submitted, and it will just show. Um, we could wait on it, but it will bring those documents up unless it's a format that it can't open. Okay, um, so that's how you would submit essays, and then later, oh, and then we'll also be doing um, discussion. Just click there, and then you'll read the instructions here, and then boom, you know, do your response. Like this one says, just type your answer in the box, do not attach. So you'll get this. If it says just type, just type. If it says attach, attach. So you need to make sure and read the instructions. Um, so with discussions, read through and see what everybody else is saying. If you want to offer some kind of, yeah, that's cool, what about this, some thoughts on those things, do that. We do have some assignments that are, um, as we move on, so here's the essays, the draft. Um, these are pre-writings, and with these, I oh, I haven't set these up yet. Um, oh, view assessment I have, of course. Um, so whenever you... Um, you're going to read the assignment, it'll be on the website, and then add content, and these are, type your pre-writing in there. So again, just type them in there, and then, of course, you know, you just submit it. So, um, what kinds of assignments are we doing? We're doing quizzes, and then we'll be doing the, you know, turn it in assignments, um, whether you're attaching or just typing it in, when you click on it, it'll tell you and then we're doing discussions. And so those are the four ways we're turning things in. So um, that's how it works. If you have any problems, let me know. Make sure you look and see that. Um, I know with Blackboard it tends to send me way too many emails and usually tells me when I send stuff in. Um, but anyway, that's it. If you have questions or problems, let me know. And of course on every page of my website, is the Blackboard help desk. So if it's something technical, like Blackboard's not working with something, call them. They're the experts on that. I don't know how to do, like how to diagnose that stuff with Blackboard, okay? Um, first, try to turn it into Blackboard. If you really can't, and you've called them and they're like, we don't know, then email it to me. Let me know you tried to turn it in on Blackboard. Please do your best to get it in on Blackboard, but in the end, get it to me. Um, you know, the more it's spread out, it's sent by email, it's here, it's there, the more likely it is to get lost, to get lose track of it. It's all about organizing. Remember, I don't just have you, and I don't just have your classmates, but I have four other classes, so five classes total. So it's a lot of paperwork, digital or otherwise, to deal with. So do your best to get it on Blackboard. In the end, get it to me. Let me know you tried to turn it in on Blackboard, but make sure that you put in a call to them 
okay, because I'm going to be like, okay, did you call Blackboard, and what did they say, um, because put in a call to them, because also it could be something that's like bigger that they need to make sure it's fixed for everybody too, so anyway, that's it, um, that's all I got, take care.